gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned in too. You're listening to Business Talk Radio, where we take business to the next level. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Christopher Roberts. Joining me now, he is in two locations in the UK. He is in Edinburgh and in London. Uh, He is a a managing director, leadership alignment coach, author, and speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Peter Gallagher to the program. Peter, welcome. How are you today? All the better for speaking to you, Chris. I'm good to be on Business Talk Radio. Thank you. You are so welcome. Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to join us. We appreciate it. And um, thank you. Why don't you start us off? Tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. So, so I, I work for and uh, set up A to B Consulting, which is a specialist management consulting. We have offices in London, as Edinburgh, as you said. We provide organizational change management leadership services to our global clients to enable the leadership of change in their organization. So we support the clients' change transition from their current state, where their organization is now to their future state where they need to be to be computed to be competitive and that's why we call the business a to b consulting we move you from a to b all righty now uh what really got you started in what you're doing here what sent you down that road so i've always been in, involved in business improvement throughout my career i've been involved in project delivery business improvement or transformation and for the last 30 years i've worked in over 25 countries been involved in aerospace, defense, energy, finance, investments, manufacturing, mining and pensions, many others. And when I look back at the projects that were successful, they had a component of change management and communication. But the ones that were really successful, the ones that give that value to the client and and went beyond delivering the benefits to the organization were ones that focused on change sponsorship, aligned the leadership teams and focused on employee change behavior. And this has always fascinated and excited me. So if you find your passion, your work no longer is your work, and I think that's why I'm here. So after 30 years of working for highly successful global organizations such as Shell and Ernest & Young, I decided to set up my own business. I've developed my own change management framework, concepts, models, and assessments, and I've written three books on the leadership of change. All righty. Uh, tell us about those three books. So the three books are all uh, about the leadership of change. So the first one's about change management fables, so stories of what actually happens when you're delivering change in organizations. And these things, you're not really going to read in a textbook because people don't tell you these stories, but these are things that actually happen when you're trying to implement organizational change. Some of the funny things, some of the challenge you'll have with leaders and employees. Volume two is a change management pocket guide. So it's a little book that you can fit in your back of your pocket. And it's got over 30 change models, tools, and change concepts. And it's really designed to support change practitioners delivering hands-on organizational change. And then volume three, it's a change management handbook, a much heavier book. And it contains 50 concepts. It's got models, figures, assessments, tools, and templates, a checklist, a roadmap, and a glossary. And they're all structured around the 10-step A to B change management framework, which starts off with change definition right through to sustaining the change. It also includes a practical case study for each one of these these steps in the change management framework. And this book is for change management professionals and people leading change in their organization. All righty. Now, um, is there any sort of background or training that, uh, you know, somebody needs in order to be able to uh, do what you do? Yeah, I think, I, mean, I think delivering change in organizations, leading change, and having some sort of degree. So I always think you need to have experience to leading a change in an organization or being involved in it, working on a change leadership team within an organization, and then having some sort of academic knowledge or skills that you're going to learn in the classroom, which you can apply in the workplace. All righty. Now, why do you think they choose you over someone else out there? What sets you apart? So I think... Um, So I talk on change management around the world, Um, I think. So where's my experience? I've worked for large organizations, um, such as Shell and Ernest & Young. So I've experienced both as an internal and an external consultant. Um, And and I started my my career many years ago in operations management. And it's always fascinated me, people. So I had three targets 
um, I was measured on. I was measured on cost, quality, and schedule. And I could always get those right, but keeping the people aligned was always a challenge. If you like, employees are an unquantifiable variable. With the same instructions, equipment, and environment, employees will react differently. And that will vary from week to week, day to day, year to year. So we don't know what they're thinking or why or what motivates them each day. And I think when you come into when you come into change management or organizational change, they react a lot different. So I think having that operation experience, working as an internal and external consultant, leading change and also then doing the academic study, so I've got qualifications in change management, and then writing the three books and talking to people around the world. I was in Phoenix, Arizona last week doing a conference for the American Society of Quality. Talking to those people in a conference and also the side conversations, they really help you to get a real good picture of change. And I hope when I go to my class, all righty, so now I can help them go through the change. All righty. So, uh, where do you think you see yourself moving forward? What's going to be on tap for you? So, for me, my motivation and passion and expertise lies in leading teams and speaking internationally about leadership of change. They, they both require hard work, planning execute and following up uh, and the travels are challenge as well and I love this and I'll continue to do that but my wife will not want to hear that I'm also planning three more books from the leadership of change nothing is formed up yet but I've got a burning desire to me write more about about change management and the leadership of change all righty so um, how can my audience reach out and contact you to find out more information so they can contact me three ways. If it's consulting, they can contact, contact me through our A to B consulting webpage. So that's on A, the, the character A, numeral two, character B, and then dot consulting. If they want to talk to him about me about coaching or speaking, it's Peter dot, peterfgallagher.com. So peterfgallagher.com. And then if they want to call me directly, I'm happy to take calls on my UK mobile, plus four four seven five four one. Four seven two nine five five. All righty. Well, it's been a pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Chris. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Oh, you're absolutely welcome. And uh, for everyone else out there, do stick around. We will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet.